um, green, the green winged teal chick and the fox. With it is, it was early summer. The green winged teal chick was in the Kettle Falls pine forest. This is this chick is brown and tan with a little black, and she has had a long beak. She was following her mother. She was looking for food. Her brothers and sisters were helping her find worms. I heard ducks flying over above me. The I saw lots of nests. The chick was still following its mother, her mother, around, around. The the hen and the and chick didn't see the fox creeping up behind them. The fox was getting ready to read to make a big snatch to kill the chick and make it lunch. Soon the hen saw the fox out. Out on the corner of its eye, her eye, the hen heard the fox fox's nails, I mean claws, creeping in the pine needles, cracking in the pine needles. So, so the hen acted like she never knew he was. He was never, was never there. Next, the fox crept closer and closer. Then, when the fox was close enough, the fox got ready to jump. The fox jumped, and the, and the hen flapped her powerful wings and scared the fox away. Now, the hen felt good to have her chick safe and sound again. Enjoy stay by Tuffle. It was a hot summer day at Lake Clover Road. A black and white buffalo drake popped out of the pine tree cavity. Buffalo head was hungry, so he ate some insects and fish. While the buffalo head was Flying away, he got shot in the right shoulder by Duck Hunter. The Duck Hunter shot again, and then went. Then the buffalo had started to fall to the ground. There were a few blood drops on him. People came by, by and rushed the buffalo head to the hospital. They put bandages on his upper right shoulder. He was healing. Later, the buffalo head could fly. He flew back to the lake road. Well, he flew fast again in his rocky side to sideways.